Hey guys, this is CS50 Assignment 9, Dread 50. Right now, I'm pretty tired because uh, I've been doing this all day. And if you can see that uh, the hour now is 3 a.m. in my country. Okay, let's try to find the coin. It's not over here. It's not over here. some reason coin is quite hard to find um, as you can see yeah look here I suppose at this coin there you are okay so now we are at maze one just uh works as ex expected so when we fall down to this uh, little hole that I rendered, um, we shall expect to see a game over state and the maze shall uh, be reset to zero. And in this case, I'm not going to use the wording of game over but drag through. <laughs> okay, so we start and the maze is now zero. Right? So that's pretty much it. And so very simple. In my FPS control file in the place scene, so I add a canvas that receives the text, uh, which I refer to my script that leads us to here. So um, uh, I take in the input of means number. So when we grab a when we grab a coin, so go ahead and increase by one. When we four. Uh, reset to zero and as soon as we fall we will uh, go back to the title when we hit enter so this is called load gg scene and then uh, of course to render the whole actually I'm not quite rendering read uh, but instead at here I set the holes to be six so the maximum number of holes is 6 and then right here so in 1 to 30 chance okay, if the number is 13 uh, I, I just simply pick the number 13 and if the holes is uh, beyond 0 so go ahead and minus 1 so actually um, uh, it's kind of one trick that to not render the floor and making it a hole okay so when we are um, actually I'm gonna pull this up so when um, we fall okay so when the position of the character is lower than negative 50 so go ahead and look scene to GG and that's pretty much it Okay, my name is Tommy Wong and this is CS50, thank you.